Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, Stitching, episode 44. 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 5 plus 6 is 44, cause math. There you go. Hello, everyone. Hi, welcome back. A special hello to anybody who's just found us. Uh -huh. Welcome to our channel. Yep. And hello to everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, local and far away. Abroad. Abroad. If you will. Home know. and abroad. Yes. You know, yes. There was people in Australia and stuff. That's right. That's what I count as abroad. I don't know. So here we are. And um, we hope you've had a great week. Mm -hmm. We've had quite a busy one. We have. Just saying. Being social is tiring. Yes, being social being is popular. so tiring. fun. But... Um, so diary. It does wear one out somewhat. Even, and I'm not even old. <laughs> that must be my problem. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Usually old people get tired quicker, don't they? I don't know. Anyway, um, we're getting excited for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. Um... We're very excitable people. We are. Number one. We're easily excited um, people. But also, uh, it's really getting close to StitchCon, and we're very excited. Yep. Um, we went over to Keepsakes on Wednesday last week mm -hmm. to record a video in the middle of a business day, which was somewhat of a challenge. Yep. But we got it in. And uh, if you would like to hear what's going on with StitchCon, please go back to that special edition video. Yeah. Yes. Live on location at mm -hmm. Keepsakes in Sharonville, Ohio. Mm -hmm. We now have um, all of the invoices accounted for. Every single last one of them is paid and good to go. And um, the wait list is still the wait list, so please continue to put your name on the wait list. There is a new website that's going to be launched probably this week um, that I'm working on um, with our new logo and all kinds of really fun stuff. And that's where the, um, that's for those people who like aren't on Facebook and um, whatever. So you can get your information via our videos, via Nicole's videos, um, and via the Facebook page um, and the website that currently exists. So once the new one is launched, the old one will just link directly to the new one. That's our hope at least. Um, and then for, you know, less confusion, it's ideal. Right. So, like I said, for the very latest, look at uh, last week's uh, Wednesday video. Mm -hmm. That's only about 10 minutes long. It is. And we're pretty silly, stupid, excited uh, for 10 minutes. So, we check it out. Yeah. Um, the other fun thing was Friday. Thursday first. I mean Thursday. Sorry. That's why they're in order in the notes, Pam. Thursday. 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 Third Thursday. Yep. We went to Panera in Milford on the east side. I keep wanting to call it the west side, but it's not. No, it's the east side. Definitely the east side. There's definitely two sides to Greater Cincinnati. <laughs> but in, that's a whole other video. We're in the northern part. Yeah, so we're just... sort of out of the split, but right. you either head west or you head east. Right. Generally. So, we call the Claremont County Stitchers is what they call it. Whatever. It's fine. We just never heard that before. Really? I've heard that. Did you just coin that just now? No. On the spot? I've heard that like at least 15 times. Never heard it. Well, get with the program, Pam. Whatever. So. Third Thursday of the month. We always so get together. so many people there this month, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't that many. But Crystal and Lisa of Kitchen Stitchers sat with us at our table. And Elizabeth and Tina and her friend Connie and Vi. And then there was Sharon and Tony and Sue Bradford and Marcia. Yeah. And nice that was crowd. a really good group. So nice crowd. We're really happy to see everybody. Lots of laughs and lots mm -hmm. of lots of uh looking at stitching and mm -hmm. and uh good Being conversation. Yep. That was Thursday night. Yep. And then we came home and then we went to bed and then we woke up and then we went to the shop. No, before we went to the shop. What do we do, Pam? We I didn't do anything. We we tried a new recipe in our crock pot. We did. We started cooking it. We and it before one of the I made brownies to take over to the shop. Oh, yeah. This is all before she even comes downstairs, people, just so you know. Okay, just so you know, I was awake till 3 a.m. Yeah. Anyways. Um, Anyways. Let's say that all the time, Zs. Okay. <laughs> Which is that ZZs to the end of the day. Anyway. Um, <laughs> It was good. What was it called? What was the official title? Of Chinese the... pork ribs. Oh, pork ribs. 
and um, they were outstanding. They smelled really good leaving the house. Can we just say we will be doubling the recipe and uh, doubling the sauce and mm -hmm. everything the and next doubling time. the company and doubling the company perhaps <laughs> perhaps we don't know. So last week we had Crystal and Lisa from Kitchen Sisters over for dinner, and then this week we had Sharon and Tony over for dinner. Yeah. So we invited them on Thursday, and they were like, "We're not doing anything." So cool, come hang out with us. Yep. So we went to the shop and stitched on Friday. It was the so day. nice. There were people out on the porch. We had yeah. an overflow group people. of stitchers me. out on the porch. Mm -hmm. Me and Tina and Connie. And so there was that was there. very cool. Yep. It was super busy. There was um, some a new person. What was her name? Oh, someone who's just moved into the area named Lynn. Yep. From Chicago. And um, I told her all about our stitch gatherings that we have at and you know what? I don't think I even mentioned our channel. I don't think you did either, Pam. I mean, I don't know. But um, if she happens to find us sometime in the near future, her first name Hi, is Lynn. Lynn, and she seems like a delight. And yeah. she seems very excited. Mm -hmm. She came from the Chicago area. They've just relocated. Mm -hmm. And her LNS was the blah, 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 blah. The something needle. The something needle. The inspired needle. Oh. I just give it a half second and okay, the brain okay. kicks in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she was a delight. So if you ever do find our channel, Lynn, and you get to this episode. Hello. Hi, Lynn. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. And then, um, but this is not stitchy related, but kind of stitchy related, is that I want to say a special congratulations to Michaela, who is Barbara's daughter, because Barbara and Joe had to leave the shop at about one on Friday because they had to go down to um, the UC, University of Cincinnati campus, because Michaela was um, being presented with a writing award, and um, she got um, a, Barbara, when she called me last night, she told me, um, she got a monetary donation to, she's studying abroad for six weeks, coming up this, like, next month. And um, so that's really cool. Very cool. Um, and so congratulations. So from one writer to another, good job. Very good. So after um, <clears throat> after Friday afternoon stitching at the shop, mm -hmm. we came home to a delicious dinner. It smells so good. And Tony and Sharon came over. Tony mm -hmm. brought a bottle of wine. Always your ticket in. Sharon brought a cake. Always your ticket in. <laughs> Just Sharon saying. brought a cake from Central Bakery in Middletown, Ohio, mm -hmm. and okay. everything was delicious. We had a lot of good conversation, a lot of laughs, okay. and um, good times. Good times. Yep. Then we went to bed. And then we woke up, and then we went to our other friend's house. And then uh, we went over to Katie Glass's house, Katie Glass's house and um, enjoyed another fun time um, yep. talking and stitching with Katie, who mm -hmm. is... Um, Always so traveling and never home. And so right. when she's home, we're right. like, got to see you. Right. We hadn't seen her in a long time, so we had a lot of catching yeah, up to do. probably since like February, I think. And, um, oh, something just popped into my head, and uh -oh. now it's gone right out again. Oh, know, shoot. Got to wait for when you to come remember, around again. When you remember again, stop me in my tracks. <laughs> anyway. Which I'm sure you will. Um, oh, shoot. That's really bothering me. Anyway. I don't you know, know what I was going to say. Me neither, but I really wish you'd remember. I know. It had something to do with getting together with people. Ooh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Okay, we'll have to move on. Okay. Well, think about it for a second while I tell them about what I did on Tuesday, which is obviously I got my hair done. Yeah. I got my summer hair on. Calm. What was the word I'm looking for? Oh my god, you're giving it to me. It's contagious. Um, compliments of Pure Concept Salon and Dead Spa in uh, Deerfield, which is like next door to Mason. And my beautiful and wonderful stylist, Danny. We all, if you've watched us from the beginning, you know that I love my hairstylist. And she did a fab job. And I love it. And like these highlights are like everything. So um, I will be having this hair till probably September. So yep. get used to it. Yep. Looks I lovely. I love it. All right. Did you remember what you were thinking of? Not yet. Okay. It'll I probably tried. come to me after we've already done the video. Probably. So. Right. Whatever. Whatever. Let's talk about stitching. Okay. Ready. Whips. Uh, whips. Um, as promised, um, we, um, I said I would be working on my Winter Maiden by Mirabilia. 
Now, just to clarify, um, that's really not the title of it. Um, the title of it, hold please. The title of it is um, Maidens of the Seasons, Roman numeral two. There are four seasons, as we all know. Nora divided the charts into Maidens of the Seasons one and Maidens of the Seasons two. In the two pack or the pattern, um, are fall and winter. Um, as I mentioned before, I really loved the winter maiden, so I refer to it as winter maiden. But for those of you who might see this and might think, oh, I like that, I might want to look for it online, you're not going to find it under winter maiden. So just um, be aware of that. It's Maybe. maidens of the seasons, and there are two, two. Roman numeral one and Roman numeral two. two. Okay. So I just want to clarify that from last week. Um, someone asked um, when I posted a progress pic on Instagram whether I was using the um, needle paints uh, the floss. Needle paint? Well, I'm going to tell you in a second. Hold your hold your panties. Yep. Something. Okay. Um, um, hold them. You if I was using it. the needle paints <laughs> or DMC, and um, Ironically, it's interesting. When I initially kitted it up, I hunted for these needle paints, um, and I think I did find a DMC conversion chart um, oh. and got the um, DMC equivalents roughly and decided to kit it up with all DMC. Remember our five boxes, eight, eight boxes, that uh, we talked about last Sunday. Nope, two Sundays ago. Two Sundays ago. Remember that? Yeah, two Sundays ago, eight boxes. Okay. From Patricia. Yeah, from Patricia. Can I stop a stack? Such a treasure trove. Inside the box was a Ziploc bag full of needle paints. Hmm. And... I just, in going through the stuff that she sent us, I just thought perhaps <clears throat> she got these for a particular lavender and lace pattern. And it says right on the little tag here, each skein, it says created by Marilyn Lovett Emblem, which is lavender and lace, Nora's mom, who has since passed away, and then it gives a lavender and lace 1-800 uh, number. Okay. So I went through and cataloged, for lack of a better word, what was in this bag. And it was two skeins of each, roughly numbering between 2001 and 2011. So I posted on the Facebook group dedicated to uh, lavender and lace designs. Um, do, would anyone know what these colors would be for which pattern? Mm -hmm. Okay. And apparently a lot of these colors were used and listed in different lavender and lace patterns. Uh, Fairy Godmother being one of them. Um, I can't think. There were several responses I got to my posting. That's cool. And, um, the beauty of the internet. So I don't know whether um, a particular project was in mind. These are still available. Uh, which uh, I did not know, but they are still available. You can buy them from Mike. And um, where? Well, the best thing, best guidance I can give people is to go to the Facebook group that is dedicated to lavender and lace cross stitching, and there is one. And there is an admin for that group, and I can't think of your name, sorry. And um, make some connections through that Facebook group if you can. Oh, okay. Um, and, and they're lovely shades of purple. I showed them up close when we... They're cotton. But you can see how they say needle paint. Is it? Yeah, needle paints. Right. And they and then the, on the end of the tag, they and say not, told in a garden. And they're not over-dyed. They're just hand-dyed. So they're solid colors. So, if yeah. that makes sense. Which so anyway, so that's kind of something I thought I would include in my uh, talking about my... Winter maiden. So what did you just say about told in the garden? Because I saw that this said T I A G on it. Because oh, it, they on the say bottom, on the bottom. It doesn't say lavender. Each skein is ten meters. They're premium Egyptian, one hundred percent cotton, 
and each skein is 10 meters of six ply floss yep. made in the USA. So, America. Um, I'm, I'm not offering these up for sale or exchange or sharing or anything. I'm going to hang on to them because I happen to be a um, devotee, if you will, of Maryland's designs and so forth. So but when I kitted up my Winter Maiden to kind of round this conversation up, um, I could not find the needle paints and did the DMC conversion. Does so, Maidens of the Seasons 2 call for any of the needle paints that we have? Yes, but I oh. have already started, started using the DMC, so okay. I'm not going to make right. the switch mid-project. Just so you know. Just wondering. So anyway, this really doesn't look very impressive this week because um, I was uh, working on other things. But um, this is her so far. And like I said, it's... It's kind of bringing the bands down to the bottom right and the purples and the greens. And I, I love her. And She's I'm rich. not regretful that I don't have the needle paints. Oh, no. Um, no, I'm not. Um, certainly not going to start again and use the needle paints. Well, hell no. So um, I'm perfectly happy yeah, with That's her. That's um, my whip for the week. Whip for the week. My weekly whip? My weekly whip. Okay, well, hold on, because, yeah, that goes in a different pile. No, I'll take that too. Thank okay. Um, well, my one whip I finished, so hold on that. And then, um, because I really, really enjoyed my Christmas ABCs, which you'll see in a minute, um, I had, when Lizzie Kate announced her retirement, and I went crazy, and um, these the ABC patterns, not all of them, but a lot of them, um, were ones that I was, like, holding off on buying because they came as kits. So, they were more, like, on the, ex not super expensive, but they were on the more pricey. They weren't a snippet, basically. And so, I knew I wanted to stitch them one day, and then when they announced their retirement, I was like, get them all. So, um, I had the, I own in addition to the christmas one um the halloween one and then i have abc lessons and then i have the abcs of aging artfully and the aging artfully and the lessons are kind of in the same ballpark like they kind of had the same type of sentiment but i like both of them they're both a different color palette so whatever plus it's stitch what you want when you want so if i like them both i'll stitch them both so, um, I took both, uh, over to the shop on Friday with some fabric ideas I had and asked the girls over at the shop what they thought I should do on what. Um, and so I start, I actually started both of them, but the other one is like, I did one letter and it's not working on you. So wait till next week. Okay. So this is the ABC lessons by Lizzie Kate. I love it. I'm not going to read it to you. If you want to read it, pause the video and read it. Um, but it's super cute. And so it was a kit, K38. And so it comes with all the floss. And this was, if you guys remember when I did the Christmas one, that it is charted in crescent colors, just like this one is. But there was a little white piece of paper inside of the kit that said that Lizzie Kate had kitted them up with Weeks Dye Works floss instead. And I was like, I don't care, floss is floss, whatever. So, I started stitching it. So, this is what I have. So, this is gonna say nurture over here. But, nurture friendships, open your hearts, and then reciprocate is what this is. So, and this fabric, is 28 count Jaslyn in Ain by Under the Sea Fabrics. It's a very soft pink peach with not a whole lot of variegation in it, but I love it that way. Um, Denkai Needle Minder. Um, I don't remember, but I've had this on my project for years, so years for months. So, um, I kind of that's like my you know, how like Michelle has her Han Solo on everything that she's like working on. I have my YouTube on everything. I love you guys. So, anyway, so 
Um, that's this. This is my first time stitching on Jaslyn. It's amazing. Like butter. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So yeah. it's not quite as fluffy as Dribbleen is. And it's not, you know, like it's just, there's the fluffiness to Dribbleen. Just say you agree. Um, and then there. I will talk slower, Pam. No, no, no. I'm not speeding up. I'm oh. saying just roll with it. That's yeah, my right. just go with it. Never mind. And um, then the, but Lugana is a little bit stiffer. It's not like Ada in a tube stiff by any shape or form. Oh, no. It's but, got a lovely. But it's just got a lovely even drape to, to it. it. Yes. So, yeah. So, this is that. Um, and I really, so, mm hmm when Sharon was over at our house, uh, we have not, proud to say, we have not jumped on the Victorian Motto Sampler Shop Threads bandwagon. bandwagon. Um, we like what we have. We, I mean, it's nothing against no, them at all. Just haven't. It's just we don't feel the necessary need to like change our whole inventory to just stitch with Victorian Motto. And mm -hmm. if you want to do that more power to you but uh i just kind of was like whatever we have three mom got like a patriotic pack of random threads last year from a viewer oh, yeah. and then they come to find out that they're victoria motto we didn't even realize it. yeah yeah whatever we're done um but sharon um has jumped on the bandwagon and she bought um sharon is a more primitive stitcher she likes to stitch primitive colors and primitive designs which is not necessarily my taste but to each their own. Right. And so she picked out what was labeled like the primitive color pack from Victoria Motto. Well, she got all these colors and they were just, to Sharon, were not primitive enough. So they were more on the brighter, richer tones than your typical primitive look. So she gave them to me, the ones that she didn't want. And she was like, I'm literally never going to use them. And I know that you will. And I'm like, okay, thanks. So <clears throat> just to see what the rave was all about. This is one of the Victoria. I'm using three Victoria mottos in this. I subbed them out. Luckily, when she handed me the ring with them all on there, I was like, these go with this whole color palette perfectly. So this is one of them that I'm using. This is Aqua by Victoria Motto Sampler Shop. Place of sea foam so i'm using it in by week so um which is the supposed to be the light blue on here and obviously this is not light blue this is aqua so it's giving it a, a totally different look and that is what it looks like stitched so i love it i think it's really pretty um victoria models are just like what everyone says they are really 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 nice to stitch with um they're not any better or worse than um you know your standard dmc crescent colors whatever but i will say that um last night i had to use my what is that called snag nab it mm -hmm. to pull a thread through and it ripped one of this the um plot, plies of threads right. directly in half so they're a little more fragile than your standard threads which is fine but it's good, it's good to know you know um and i was able to fix it and if you look on the back you can't even tell that i had to mess up see that so it was fine but these are really fun to stitch with and to kind of see how they work and um you know i don't think that i'm like i said gonna go out of my way to like change my whole inventory to victoria motto but they're nice to stitch with so thank you sharon yeah so yeah so remember last week when I was like, we're getting a bell. We got a bell. So this is, we went to, wasn't that hard to find. Mom looked on, I'm trying to not make it ring. So mom went to, um, that's our bell. Um, where'd you go on Amazon or eBay or some shit? And <laughs> you were like, these are from, we were thinking of Abroad. like the old fashioned school bell thing. Yeah, like the one that you ding 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 and yeah, no. No. So we so we ended up with this little guy. We went to Staples. <laughs> it's a call bell. So this is our new segment. Finishes. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? <laughs> Don't you wish you thought of this? Just saying. So 
My finish. Wait, mine's bigger. You go first. Oh, um, I finished my Halloween ornament for April, and I really love it. It is from the 2014 Special Collector's Issue uh, of Just Cross Stitch. Okay, 2014. The Special, special collector's, collector's Issue of like, issue. the Halloween Collector's Issue? Has to be. Has to be. It has to be. It can't I, don't have, be. I don't have it with me. Sorry. Anyway, the title of it is Who Who. Like H-O-O, H-O-O. Designed by Kathy Haberman of Hands On Design. Mm -hmm. And I, I've i got these clips on it because I... I um, That's really smart, Pam. Every so often, you get I do just... something smart. Every... Yeah. Just, just barely. Right. All right. So this is this cute little guy. How freaking stinking adorable is that? Yeah. Yeah, so you can see uh, the curly cues in the sky, which I love, and it says hoo hoo. And so cute. I sat at Katie's yesterday afternoon and did the, did the moon, and I think it's super cute. So that's going to be my. And that fabric is Banshee? Banshee from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. Okay. Pretty, sh pretty sure. Cool. Pretty sure. So that's my finish for the week. So ring your bell. <laughs> I can't even. There you go. Pam's finish. Yay. So, anyway. Cool. Um, we're all done with finishes. No, we're not. I didn't show mine. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Butthead. Anyway. So, if you remember, I was worried. <laughs> I was working on my Christmas ABCs. Yay. And I got distracted by the bell. She did. <laughs> it's okay. It's a distracting bell. I understand. I'm Should I move that. it now? No, because I got to ring it. <laughs> this is our first time with a bell. Please just avoid props at all costs. No, don't. They're fun. Remember that time we had hats on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> This is it. It's done. Oh. Sorry, Pam. Christmas ABC. ABC Christmas. Sorry. ABC Christmas by Lizzie Kate. Stitched on um, 28 count Dapple Lugana by Picture This Plus. And look at my U. Doesn't it look so much better in red than brown? Just saying. I think it does. So, yeah. I'm super, super, super happy with it. I love it. Um, I will tell people that are stitching this. If you stitch it on 28 count. So, if you stitch it on anything, like if it's 14 count Ada or 28 count, um, even we were linen, listen up. Um, the kit comes with two skeins of... The color for the words, which is Terrapin by Week Starworks. So this color, like in the words, I needed three. I needed just more than two. Like I didn't barely use um, much of the third skein, but um, I did need a third skein. Um, and then they send you, they send you two to start, but I needed a third. And then um, they sent two skeins of... The red, which was Louisiana hot sauce, and two skeins of moss, which was the lighter green, and I didn't touch them. And that's with adding... You mean you didn't touch the second? The one. second skein, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's with putting the red behind an extra letter, and I didn't use the third, the second skein. So, um, just a heads up. So, if you, if somebody is, like, selling this on Stash on Lid or something, or whatever, eBay, and you buy it, and you have to kit it up yourself, just know that moving forward um yeah so um i'm super happy with that um i don't know if i'll give it to barbara before the first she'll probably insist that i do but i do want to frame that um i don't want a pillow or anything there's obviously enough fabric around the sides of it for me to add maybe a red mat which i think would be really pretty like a bright bright fire engine red mat just saying that'd be pretty yeah so lovely Happy finishes, everyone. That's right. That's our pal.
Okay, well that brings us to Okay. Um that brings us to mail, mail call. Okay. So um I got stuff from like packages. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh I'm just sitting there. Oh, okay. I'm just sitting here. Um this I did not receive in the mail, but Sharon bought them for me and then um gave them to me on Friday and she bought them from Cindy Sorley's Stitchery Express. Look at them scissors. There's a cat on it. Look at that. It's like a butterfly cat. It's like the coolest. I obviously have not used them yet because I wanted to show them in the video. But I'm excited to see how they work. Right. And I'm like trying to open them with this thing on it. Ooh. They, they sound sharp. really sharp. I know. I'm scared. No, I'm not. Okay. That's nice that they have that little protector on them. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So thank you, Karen. And um, we had found some patterns that in the boxes of stuff, the eight boxes from Patricia, um, that were Theron collection charts. So we know of a floss tuber. Hi, who, Lori. Hi, Lori. Who loves Theron collection charts? Theron and so, traditions. Theron okay. traditions. Sorry. And so we kind of pulled them aside, and I was like, they weren't anything we would stitch. And so I took pictures of them, and I sent them to Lori, and I said, hey, if you're interested in them, I, we would love to send them to you. If not, that's totally cool. We'll give them away in a video or the freebie table, whatever. And she was like, no, I love them. But because Lori is Lori, and she is a very kind girl, lady, woman, whatever, she was like, well, I have to do something in return. Is there anything that you're looking for? And um, uh, we have a chart that, we have two charts that were kind of like our unicorn charts, one of which is already on its way from eBay because me and Katie have the same unicorn chart song. Oh, sorry. Anyway, and then we're searching for the other Lizzie Kate stand-up um, that's the Halloween one, the Betty Broomstick. So I said, you're probably not going to be able to find it. So don't worry about it. This is a kind gesture I'm trying to do for you. Right, right. We're and, not looking for reciprocal. And you're like, here, let me get right. you something. But because Lori is Lori, she was like, oh, I have this one and I'll send it to you. And I was like, okay. So um, first she sent me this Lizzie Kate uh, snippet S35, If the Broom Fits. How freaking cute is that? This is, I don't know what the cut, this was an early one. Yep, 2001. 2001, people. And then, I remember it well. Probably not even opened, never used, never touched. Lousy clouds. So if you remember that we did get this chart, but we didn't get all the stuffs. Now we have all the stuff. I'm the sorry. glasses kill me. Oh my god, I can't even with the glasses. I haven't obviously opened this yet. Oh, there's even a there's a thread sorter. That's pretty. Yeah. I'm just hold please. Oh look, it's like an inch thing. Oh my world. Yeah, one of those, you know. Squares. Squares. Okay, wait for these glasses though, you guys. Oh my god. Okay, so if you can, if you notice that she's got glasses hanging from her neck, right? Look at these friggin' glasses. I can't. I can't though. Aren't they the? There's a see. there's a button in between them, but they're so cute. I wish you could see them in person, but you can't because they're mine. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm such a dick. Um, but her basket and everything and the, the fabric and all that. So obviously the only things that I, I thought you were shaking your head at me. The only thing that we will need to get is the floss and thank you so much, Lloyd. You're very thankful. I, if I had known that all it took was three Theron traditions trucks <laughs> to get floss and cloths and stuff, I would have sent I would have sent Sorry, I hope kidding. you know her by I'm now. I'm kidding. Um but yeah. Goodness gracious. So thank you. So um we had to ship your package what was it like? Priority, like we couldn't put it in the kiosk, so it's on its way. But it was a big package with bubble wrap and stuff. So right, hope you enjoy. Um, okay, that goes there. That goes there. Okay, and then 
yesterday before we left for Katie Glass's house, the doorbell rings. And I was like, who the hell is that? <laughs> On a Saturday of all days. And then I went to the door and I could see like through the glass panes of our front door that some dude was like running away from the front door. But I could tell it was the mailman because whatever. So I'm like, what is this? Oh boy, what did we order? Nope, didn't order a damn thing. We got a box. Hold please. A box. A this, box. This priority mailbox from Lorraine in Palmyra, Maine. Maine. And I was like, she had an old college roommate now. <laughs> So, I'm like, is this stuff that I left the, at our dorm room? No. Obviously, I'm joking. She watches her videos. We know that. But, there's some good stuff in here. So, first and foremost. Did you really mean to have the box on camera? I did. Oh, yeah. Butthead. So, this is the pretty card that she sent. Um, Those who touch our lives with kindness add beauty to our days. And then, I love how you crossed off your, but both of you, by the way. So, um, and Lorraine said that she started stitching again because of our videos. And that makes my heart smile. I'm just saying. Screw that. Okay. You're making a lot of noise. So are you right now, Pam. <laughs> what? So she did say that it is maple syrup time in Maine. Maine pure maple. From Lakewood Road in Madison, Maine. There you Maine. go. We haven't opened it yet, obviously. Because we're not allowed to use things. Or whatever. Um, she sent us this little reindeer kit. Look at the hat with his lights. All the stuff. www.mainemaple.com, by the way. Just there saying. you go. In case you want to get it. Just saying. And then Lots she, of pancakes. Oh, can we have pancakes for dinner? Possibly. Okay. Um, and then she sent us all these metallic threads. Cool. This, oh my gosh, this piece of 28 count cashel in Haunted. Haunted. We got a piece of Haunted. Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. Oh, so excited. Got some Halloween pieces that go on that. Just saying. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um... Just a bag. <laughs> um, this, I think mom is literally going to stitch this, so don't even try me. But this is from, it's called, it's Whimsies by Dimensions. And it's called, what, does it have a name? Let me see. I want a name for it. No name. No name. That's no name. But it's got... Look at him in the window. Isn't that cute? Mom loves Put them. Put that on the mantle. He's I cute. I think that's cute. Pam's going to stitch that. Then she sent me a baggie of Lucy Kate's. Because she knows I love my Lucy Kate. Um, and she sent me Spring String, which I love. Um, let me pull it all the way out. There you go. Which I'm actually working on right now. But it's a super, super old copy of this, and, like, it's barely legible, and now I have a new one. Mm -hmm. And then um, one of the jingles, the fa-la-la. Love that. Love it. Um, another one of the jingles, the silent night. Love him. And three of the Christmas rules, which is, this is the, oh, give Santa cookies and milk, no pouting. Uh, listen for reindeer hang mistletoe. And keep the schedule light and share your toys. So, those Lizzie Kates are now mine. With the charms, BGW. She sent, everything was individually bagged, which was my favorite part about it. Um, oh, this was priceless. This is my new keychain now. Look at this. It spins and it says, Lobster. Lobster. And it spins. Look at that. It spins. Did you just get it? Yeah, and there's like what I love is like right here. There's a lobster on the metal part, and then over here there's a lobster. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's adorable. 
mine. We had a, we almost fought over that. Yes, saying. of course. Just saying. Of course. But it was okay because she sent another keychain and another it was for chain. Pam. Wait for it. It's so cute. Look at him. Hold it away from your face. No, he's. It's. Okay. See? It says Maine. It's a moose and his legs move and his hands move and his head moves. Do you believe it? He's so cute. Adorable. Love him. Adorable. She sent us uh, a couple. See, everything was individually bagged. Um. And then she sent this for the, this is way too big for a needle minder, but oh, this will yeah. go on the fridge. Main, the way life should be. Yep. Love that. I've never seen that magnet before. Yep. Love it. Love, Love it. it. She sent, oh no, she sent this. If you're a Yankees fan, you should look at this. <laughs> Boston Red Sox. You could make a needle mod out of this, Pam. Yeah, it would be good too because it's smooth. Right, exactly. We might be making getting some of that E6000 glue out for yeah. that. And Absolutely. This one is the same idea. So Absolutely. I could make a needle mod out of this one too. Um, yeah. 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 Cute. Yeah. Um, and then. She sent this stack of magazines, right? So um, we were looking through them, and then there's some patterns in here as well. Um, so Leisure Arts, Happy Halloween. Um, there's one, two, I think there might be three bookmark books. Um, collection of Things Country by Leisure Arts. This was crazy. I've never seen such a thing. Oh, this is a, almost on the squeeze em side end. Yeah, but it's really, it's cooler than squeeze -ems. This is um, <laughs> the kaleidoscopes. Let's cross stitch a kaleidoscope. That's crazy. I love that cowboy. He's scary, though. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see the ones on the oh, back. Oh, there's more on the back. Look at that nautical one. You should do that one, Pam. Mm. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> you know you can stitch those and without that. the kaleidoscope aspect. I mean, you could. Oh, yeah. Here's the other bookmark one. Yeah, there's some nice bookmarks. Mm -hmm. And then these are counted bead tie-ons. I don't know what the tie-on means, but whatever. What do you tie them on to? I, that's what I, why you asked me questions I don't know the answer to. Maybe a doorknob? I don't know. Cute. And then Chris, counted bead Christmas ornaments. So these are like pure beads. All of them beads. Hmm. Um, Stony Creek Watercolor Dreams. Cute. You see that. Um, this oh. is more, more beads. These are pretty. Okay, then, I know. Um, and then there's this Cross My Heart ink, which is time to stitch. It's, get it, it's a play on, like, time, like time. That. And then she had this one up on the top, and it's catnap. I like him. And then, you guys are going to lose your minds. Are you ready? Okay. So, before I started stitching, I have always been one to appreciate my mom's artwork, which I consider artwork, whatever. If you don't, you're on the wrong channel. Um, and so there were charts that I really, really liked and some, a lot of them had cats on them and I'm like, will you stitch me that? And honestly, I wasn't so in the community that I didn't see stuff that was, you know, out there and available. So mom would find something that she thought was cute that I would like and she'd stitch it for me and she'd give it to me for Christmas. She stitched me Wizard of Oz things, but mostly cat things. So... This magazine, which is the cross-country cross stitching magazine, the special issue for spring of 1997, has this on the cover. And then we both started laughing because this hangs in my room. Pam made that for me. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Stitched on a white even weave of some sort. And look at all the detail 
Isn't she good at stitching, guys? See, I love it. And it was framed by Keepsakes by Barb and Joe over at Keepsakes, trying to get the glare off of it. But it hangs. Um, I have a cat wall <laughs> in my room, up the, um, where I have my kitty string, and I have this, and I have a, um, it's, I think, was that crazy? Mm -hmm. Is that Raise the Roof? No. No. no, it's not raised the roof. I can't okay. remember. Whatever. But I just thought that was hysterical because I was like, oh, that looks familiar. Mom was like, that's where I got it from. Yep. So, and plus, we've never showed you guys this. So, isn't that cool? So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was just a great box of goodies. It was. Did she relate it and not? She awesome. uh, obviously knows we're big Red Sox fans. Yep. And um, big cat fans. And main fans. And. Maple syrup fans and everything yeah. else. Stitching so, fans. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You um, so it was just an unexpected delight and surprise, and yep. um, we really, um, we really are very, very appreciative. We had a lot of fun with everything, and we will continue to do so. Yes, ma'am. Thank you much. So that is our mail call. In yeah. your hall, Pam. So my hall is um, very small. Small hall today. <laughs> small hall. Um, I found a Lizzie Kate. What? What? Pam stitches Lizzie Kates. <laughs> Pam has uh, stitched a few Lizzie Kates in her day. Um, <laughs> now we're talking about ourselves in third person. <laughs> Which is weird. But this was on Stash Unload. I'm pretty sure. Stash Unload. Pretty sure. So, yeah. And I just went... Ah, yes, please, because... I've never seen it before. Summer Fab Fob, Fob, K for Kit, 47, and there were only a 1,000 of these made, and so they numbered them. So this is number 424 of a 1,000. Hmm. Limited edition kit. Um, Yeah. Patriotic and nautical. Love it. A kit, people. With red and blue scissors to go in the scissor fob. Blue Love fabric. It. Linen. There's, um, I think some... Is there a button? Yeah. Yeah, there's a few buttons. Where does that button go? Oh. The button goes mm -hmm. right there by the flag. I've never seen this before. So. So cute. Love um, it. got that. Mm-hmm. Off Facebook. And then, um, you know, you have those random moments where you're just scrolling through sites and so forth. And um, you lose all self-control. <laughs> and you just add it to cart. You lose all you your inhibitions. Um, but I decided that I would um, bite the bullet and get the Satsuma Street um, horoscope for uh, my sign, which is cancer. And isn't that... Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yep. If you guys remember, I got my Sagittarius for my birthday this year when I turned 30, or last year, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I am all kinds of, all kinds of, all the characteristics of a cancer. I am all of it. <laughs> all of it. All of it. And the lovely um, Suzanne, who watches our video, um, I'm not going to spell her, spell out her full name, but um, she knows who she is. And apparently her sister is a framer. And she said that if I stitch this, she would get her sister to frame it. So, um. She's on it. It's all I'm DMC, it. isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And I just love it. And I probably will do it. If not on. You should do it on Haunted. Well, I'm not sure. It says, um. Black Ada. It says it was done on Black Ada. I have stitched, um, more than one thing on 25 count black. Lugana. Mm -hmm. And I love it. 25 count black Do Lugana. Do you use three strands on 25? Um, say what? Do you use three strands on 25? I can't remember. To Since you're a coverage nut? No, I didn't. When I did that Mars, mm -hmm. I only used two. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, sometime we'll insert the picture of my Mars that I did for my genealogy friend, Judy, um, as a gift to her brother, who um, is a planetary scientist. Uh, but I did that on black because Mars is the red planet. So mm -hmm. there were lots of reds and oranges. And um, it was stunningly framed by Joe at Keepsakes. 
and um, obviously it was a gift. So I don't still have it, but uh, we'll see if we can dream up. Yes, dream up a picture. Yeah, and so uh, insert it at some point when we're talking about okay. uh, things we haven't shown yet. Yes. So I bought I bought bought the bit, bit the bullet. The bullet. Holy on hell! I'm well, glad you put the bullet on. <laughs> and that was from um, Satsuma Street. Satsuma Street on Etsy. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And then I got. I have small haul, just a little bit. Just a uh, these were on stash on load as well. This is um, the leftovers of a Mill Hill kit, but we all know that they give you enough stuffs in the Mill Hill kits to do them more than once. And I love him. This is Squirrely. Look at his little face with a nut. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And the, whoever did this, um, whoever I got it from, I uh, left the magnet in there, but I'll probably make it into an ornament. But isn't that cute? I like him. He's precious. And I have yet to actually do a Mill Hill kit, though. So. Yeah, we haven't. That's fine. I've done. But and has. then this is from the Fancy Dad Hat of the Month. And it is. Is that a friggin' hold, please? That's a bead. What's a bead? That cardinal. That's a bead. Yeah, so you probably get it from. Uh, look on the back. From just my imagination. Yeah, there used to be a button company, but you can find another mm. cardinal. Sorry, I was just like I was looking to see if I stitched it, but it's not stitched. It's a big cardinal button, um, and this is from Fancy That from their Hat of the Month collection, and this is February number one thirty eight. And that kitty cat looks like Mosey. And I like it. And I like its hat. And I like the nest. And I like that cardinal. And I like the hearts and a bonnet. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. Fancy that. Have a look. Um, and then, so sp sporadically since I started stitching, I've been collecting from National Park Needlework, um, the collector's ones of the national parks that I have been to um, some of them are like they look exactly the same as any other nature scene and I'm like I don't know why this is special <coughs> but excuse me so I have Mount Rushmore I have Half Dome I have Old Faithful I have Grand Teton um, and but this was one that is not out west and it is one that I've been looking for and I found it and it is the Vietnam Memorial. Look at all that back stitch. So I love this. Um, it's really, really pretty. Um, and isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, not a whole lot of crosses, mostly back stitch, but. Maybe I can work up on my back stitching while I stitch this. So I love that. And then uh, Kellyanne of Kellyanne Kelly here on Floss Tube. Um, she um, was doing a kind of random sporadic live D stash sale on Instagram last Saturday, like a week ago yesterday, I want to say, maybe. I don't know. And of course we watched and this was one of the charts that I had picked up and it is book 98 from the Prairie Schooler ABC and we have a very dear friend of ours who her name is Judy and she is stitching these and she's doing a full color conversion to overdives and we also have a good stitch friend Kim who is doing this all in color for now they both look beautiful, but Judy's is friggin' stunning. It's like, I can't even. We should take a picture of her we should. with it and then we insert should. it at some point. Got lots of ideas for future videos. I know, we do. Write that shit down. I will. Um, and so I got um, one of the patterns, if you remember, in the boxes from Patricia was maybe DEF or GHI. I have so, the one with drum. Because I like the drum. Okay, so that's D-E-F. Yeah. And G-H-I. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I've slowly been collecting these, but I want to do them all in one big piece. Yeah. I do. Um, and I think we have 
whatever has kit, the kitty in it too. Oh, okay. But whatever. Um, and then we have a subscription to Dish Cross Stitch Magazine. Super kind of disappointed with this one's one. Right. Um, but there was one pattern in it. That yeah, I, we get the digital subscription right. so we can get the back issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this there was one pattern in it that I really, I really like. Yeah, I paged through it and I said, no, nothing in there for me, but I bet Stephanie will like this one. And I did, and it is called Snoozing in Sunshine by Doreen Jones. Yeah, that's super cute. Love it. I like it finished in a hoop, too. That's cute. Right. So, that was what we got for haul. Haul. Oh. Small haul. Excuse there's going to be, I think, I'm predicting, looking ahead, there's going to be a lot of haul next time we do haul, uh, which probably won't be next week. Yes, it will, Pam. We're doing a regular video on Sunday. Maybe oh, oh okay, okay. Okay. So next week we will have a lot of haul because we um, uh, sent the Attic uh, Needle Workshop in Mesa, Arizona a lot of money. Thank you, <laughs> McKenna. <laughs> Just say it. And I'm thinking that that's going to... Yeah, I'll probably be here by uh, be next here video. before the end of the next video. Oh, the I next video that is a regular video, right? Yes. So that segues into plans. Exactly, plans for next. Uh, Good job, Pam. For next week, uh, we have another StitchCon meeting on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Things are really uh, coming together, they and are. Uh, if there's anything we need to announce, we will announce it mm -hmm. um, Sorry, next time. Know. But Tuesday, we're getting together at the mm -hmm. shop. Yes, we are with the usual crew, mm -hmm. and also. Next week, so it's technically not between before next video, but next week, look for our regular video. So, tomorrow, when you watch this, which will be Monday, right? Um, a week, we are going to be making two videos next week. So, we're going to be having our regularly scheduled Sunday video that airs on Monday, and then we will have our mania video, um, which is where we go through. Each of our projects, what fabric we're using, um, and... Well, wait a minute, when's the 1st of May? 1st of May is Tuesday, Pam. Oh, so we've got, you know, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Good thing I keep our calendar up to date. Um, and then, because, it, like I think I mentioned last week, it would just be way too much information to put in a regular video. And you'd yeah. be like, I hate payment stuff, we're never coming back. Right. So anyway. So, so yeah. two videos next week. Mm -hmm. Holy, holy mania. Yes, is everyone ready? Are you ready for mania? And I don't know about, about anybody else, but I'm having kind of a, a little bit of a problem with pre-mania starditis. Like, I kind of want to start something, but I kind of don't because starting on the first of the month, I'm going to be starting 18 new projects and I'm 62 and <laughs> yeah. And YOLO, Pam. And, YOLO. Anyway, so... Um, that pretty much wraps it up. Wraps it right up. Okay. With a bow. See you next week, everybody. I'm mm -hmm. Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching. Bye.